everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Rhea, from the Nick and Rhea channel. And today, I am going to be doing a quick DIY project. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a while. It just took me some time to get out and finally hunt for it. But I have been looking for a vase for my pampas grass that Nick got me. I am not trying to spend $150 or $100 or even anything over $30 on a vase. So, I went to Value Village and I picked up this vase because I love the shape. I'm obviously not a huge fan of this cracked shattered glass look, so I am going to be going over it with some glass paint. And I picked two of these little bottles up from Michaels. So it's glass paint and I got it in this kind of taupey olive color, which is so pretty. I grabbed two of them because I wasn't too sure how much of this I'll use. I don't know how thick it is and things like that. So if I have extra, definitely a plus. These were a little bit over $4 each, so eight bucks for these, $6 for the vase. And then I also got this foamy paintbrush from Michaels. I already tested out the color. But all of this was how much? Yeah, so all of these products were under $15. Definitely a lot cheaper than what I was wanting to do, and I get the shape that I want. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm gonna quickly wipe this down to get off any residue or grease. So after you've wiped down your vase, you want to start mixing your paint and some of your baking powder. And this is a two ounce paint bottle. I'm gonna mix in some baking powder. I'm gonna eyeball this and I'm gonna say I'm putting in about a tablespoon. Mix it up. The purpose of the baking powder is so that your paint kind of lightens up and fluffs up so it gives your finish of your paint more of an airy and ceramic kind of look. As it dissolves, I don't know if you guys can see this, so this is a consistency you want just so it looks a little bit more grainy as if it were actually clay or ceramic. So now that this is all mixed up, I am going to be putting my first layer onto the vase. Let's see how concentrated this is. first coat on it's looking pretty good I'm gonna let this dry for about 10 minutes and then come back and apply a second coat I'm also gonna take off my engagement ring because I don't want her to get dirty so I'm gonna let this sit for 10 minutes and I'll be right back okay now I am going to go ahead and do my second coat the paint got a lot more thick once the baking powder dissolved which is an awesome awesome finish so this should go on very nicely and a lot more thick oh yeah looking a lot better um, because the vase is glass it you can still see a little bit of the sheer parts coming through I'm gonna let it sit for about half an hour. I think I will use a little bit more of the paint um, Because I have just a little bit left and it's puffing up quite a bit So I'm gonna use probably another half of this bottle and I will do a third coat in about half an hour So I went ahead and did another layer of paint just because I was getting antsy as you can see there's like crumbs everywhere because the paint is so dry but she is looking thick and clay like again I'm gonna wait another half an hour 20 minutes before I do the final layer just to finish it all up so I have finished my fourth and final layer I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera, but it has a nice texture on it, so it looks very ceramic-y, which I love. I also did the inside because I am no longer moving this around, so let me just let this sit here overnight, and I will show you guys what it looks like tomorrow. Okay guys, it is the next 
day it is a little bit later in the afternoon I let my vase sit a little bit longer just to get it all dry because I want to start using it right away so drum roll please and here she is this vase looks awesome it definitely gives off the ceramic matte clay vibe yeah, the color definitely came out a lot more of like a grayish kind of taupe look as for the texture it definitely has like a raw unfinished look to it which i love because i didn't want it to be too perfect so it kind of looked very clay like and as you guys can see, there's a lot of imperfections, which was the goal I was going for. Um, so I'm going to be putting pampas grass in here. So let me pop some in and show you guys what the finished look will look like. So here is what the vase looks like with the pampas grass inside of it. This was a very fun and easy DIY, super satisfying as well. I will definitely be doing a couple more vases with different colors, sizes, and shapes. So stay tuned for that. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in our next video. Bye!